Hi. For chapter three, I have a disclaimer. I don't speak Welsh and I don't know how to pronounce it, so sorry. <clears throat> Today is about Gorky's Zygotic Monkey. Gorky's Zygotic Monkey were a psychedelic folk and, and alternative rock band which formed in Carmarthen, Wales in 1991. The group performed music in both Welsh and English and they had eight top 75 singles on the UK singles chart during their career. They were prominent during the era known as Cool Simru. The group disbanded in May 2006. The group was formed by Euros Childs, vocals and keyboards, John Lawrence, vocals and guitar, and Richard James, bass guitar, whilst still at Bro Murden Welsh Comprehensive School in Carmarthen. Beyond their main roles in the band, all three were multi-instrumentalists and often swapped around instruments, both in the studio and on stage, with Sean Lane keyboards and Stefan Kravos violin added to the lineup Gorky's recorded the self-released cassette Alumet in 1991. Sean and Stefan left shortly afterwards, the latter going on to form Welsh-language rap group Tistion, and drummer Ocean Evans was recruited for a second cassette, Parent Pleaser, in 1992. Euro's Child's sister Megan Child's violin subsequently joined the group and the band signed to the Welsh record label Angst. The band's first release for the label was Patio, 1992, a 10-inch collection of various live, home, and studio recordings. This was later expanded for the 1995 CD version, which John Cale once proclaimed to be his favorite album ever. Gorky's also released a number of singles and EPs on angst, demonstrating a taste for psychedelia and playfulness, evidently inspired by the Canterbury scene of the 1960s and 1970s. Kevin Ayer's album, Shooting at the Moon, is cited in the notes to Tatai <laughs> as the best LP of all time. And the record also includes a version of Robert White's O Carolyn. The band began to be championed by BBC Radio 1 and DJ John Peel. Other than that, it was extremely rare to hear Welsh language music on such a station. In 1994, Gorkuis released their first full studio album, Tate. By 1995, Euros Rollins had replaced Ocean Evans on drums in time to record a second album, Bide Time, which, feature, which featured a wide range of instrumentation, <clears throat> such as the parts for the Celesta and Sitar credited on Lucky Da. Both albums were produced by Alan Holmes, who also provided their colorful artwork. These early releases show a huge range of influences and styles. Thema o Kartref, the, oak, the opening track of Tate, for example, is a relatively gentle harmonium back song, while when you hear the captain sing, appears to be a tribute of sorts to Captain Beefheart and M. Sir May Mindedod Cinema presents one song in the right channel and a completely different one in the left. The 1996 compilation introducing Gorky's Zygotic Monkey, the band's first release in America, compiled material from the Angst album and singles and summed up this phase of Gorky's career. 
now attracting the interest of larger record labels, Gorky's left Angst and signed to Fontana Records. Their next album, Barafundal, was produced by Gorwal Owen, who had also worked with the Super Furry Animals. The wide-ranging instrumentation remained. Diamond Dew has a prominent part for the jaw harp. Boing, boing, boing. And there were still psychedelic touches, but the album as a whole was more laid back than their earlier work, tending more towards folk music. This gentler direction was largely maintained and refined in their later records. Though the occasional popier and rockier number, such as Poodle Rockin' from Spanish Dance Troop or Mow the Lawn from Sleep Holiday, continued to crop up. Following their fifth album, 1998's appropriately titled Gorky Five, which was released on Fontana's sister label Mercury Records, the band were dropped by Fontana. They quickly signed a Mantra Recordings, a division of the Beggar's Banker label. In 1999, Gorky's released their first album for Mantra, Spanish Dance Troop. This would be the last Gorky's album to feature input from founding member John Lawrence, who left the group during the recording sessions. Richard James took on Lawrence's former role of main guitarist, and Gorky's also recorded former Fa Coffee Pub member Rodri Pugh as a sideman to play guitar and bass guitar on tour. In 2000, Gorky's appeared with John Cale in a movie called Beautiful Mistake, in which they performed the 1994 album track Oh Carolyn 2. In the same year, the band released an acoustic mini-album called The Blue Trees in 2000. Wait, that's redundant. Never mind. We gotta clean up this Wikipedia a little bit. Hayne, get on it. After which, drummer Euros Rollins left Gorky's to take up a career in teaching. Ah. Rollins was replaced by former topper drummer Peter <laughs> Richardson. And at around the same time, Rodri Pugh was confirmed as being a full member of the band. This lineup of Gorky's recorded and toured two more albums. How I Long to Feel That Summer in My Heart, 2001, and Sleep Holiday, 2003, on the Sanctuary music label. The latter would prove to be the final Gorky's Zygotic Monkey album. Although Euros Childs and Richard James would spend time working on separate projects for a while, the band did not announce their formal split until May 2006. In 2010, Richard James and Euros Childs performed at Dan Rebellato's wedding, with him later telling Lauren Laverne via Twitter, We somehow got Gorky's Zygotic Monkey to reform and play our wedding last year. So it was, it was, it was wall-to-wall -wall musical awesomeness. They've also collaborated on other short-term occasions, such as the online music video series Outside My House in 2014. James and the Child's siblings also performed at the Charlotte Grigg Memorial Concert in Cardiff in 2014. Were you wondering about the origin of their band name? <clears throat> so was I. While in the band, Child said that one of the most frequent questions he was asked was about the origin of the band's name. After struggling to come up with one, they decided, well, we might as well stick with the most ridiculous crap name we could think of. Gorky's came from the word gawky. Lawrence says that Gork was school slang for a dimwit. Zygotic was hijacked from GCSE biology. It refers to the state of being like a zygote, a fertilized egg cell. Monkey is a spelling of the word monkey, 
using Welsh spelling rules rather than a direct Welsh translation and is pronounced like monkey. Okay, thanks for joining me. I hope you I hope the band catalog their musical output catalog is available online and you can listen to it. Or you can go to Discogs. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> All right. Bye.